Hey there Aquarius, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be, um, sorry I thought I saw something over there. This is going to be uh, your general weekly reading. If you guys are wondering why the light is moving around or why the setup is like this, there was a big ice storm in my area. So it put a lot of people out of power. I'm one of those people, okay? So um, that's why things look like this. If you see my light moving around, it's um, I have a headlamp on, okay? Just felt like I should at least record the reading so I don't get behind on them, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. If you guys are interested in personals, I have a holiday special going on right now for the month of February. So those are where you can ask up to three love-related questions for $15.15. If you would like to ask other questions, I do also have a four-question option for $25.25 where you can ask questions about pretty much anything. So any information you need on that can be found within the very bottom of the description box. So we're looking into your recent past, your present, and your near future. What's going on here for Aquarius, please? What's going on here for Aquarius? <clears throat> Lots of air energy so far, okay. Um, mostly Libra, actually. Yeah, it's all Libra right there in that top row. Interesting. So, Ace of Swords is your overall. There is some kind of breakthrough. That's what I'm feeling with this, okay. Um, yeah, so underneath that, we have the Nine of Swords, which is interesting. The Nine plus the Ace equals the Ten. So I feel like there's something that you guys are closing out here, moving away from, with this Hermit being underneath this here. Um, so yeah, there's something you're closing out. There is some kind of breakthrough. There's victory. There's success moving in here. So we'll see what this is alluding to. But, um, you know, overall, it looks like there's a little bit of a mucky energy here. But we're going to get into what that's about. So in your recent past, we have the Queen of Swords, Libra Energy. We have the Four of Swords, Jupiter in Libra. And we have the Justice card. More Libra, okay? Um, so, yeah, it almost seems like you guys were riding the fence in a situation here. So, I'm not sure. I don't feel it. I feel like this was in your own situation. Let me just be clear about that. I don't feel like you're, like, playing both sides of the fence. That's not what this feels like to me. I feel like there's a situation where you are straddling the fence. There's something that you are just stuck at a crossroads about here in the recent past, okay? Um, that's how that feels to me with this Queen of Swords energy here. There's something that you want to put behind you. That's how that feels, but it seems like you want to hang on to it at the same time. So that's very confusing. It seems like there's a new beginning you're trying to welcome in here, but there's something that you are putting behind you. If you kind of look at the way she's sitting there. Um, so yeah, it seems like there's something, um, you know, that you're keeping open. You have the four of swords here as well, Jupiter and Libra energy. Um, so yeah, this is literally a card of like something or someone being asleep. So I really feel like this is speaking about an opportunity, okay? So while you're still hanging on to something here in the recent past, it seems like whatever it is that you are trying to welcome in, um, it's like it's asleep or whatever. It's something like that here. It's it's like the, it's there for you, but it's not gonna come in because you're still holding on to something else. It doesn't have the room to come in here um, to come to fruition pretty much, okay? You have the justice card here as well, all right? So I'm gonna see what that is about. Because sometimes when the Justice card shows up, to me that can be, um, you know, things are balanced, but sometimes things are balanced for too long. I feel like you're just kind of holding on to um, two different things here. And because of that, nothing is dropped, like nothing is um, brought to fruition here is how that feels to me. So it's like there's a straight line here in the recent past. How about the Queen of Swords? I'm trying to figure out, like, the, the energy makes sense to me. I hope it makes sense to you, okay? Uh, it's hard to put it into words. So how about the Queen of Swords? Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. So once again, Queen of Pentacles, she tries to preserve, right? Um, so I feel like there is something that you are holding on to here in the recent past. Um, like I said, you know, there's something that you have put behind you, but you left it open, okay? Just in case whatever this is that you're welcoming in, it does not give back to you what you're putting in. But what it is that you're trying to welcome in here is still asleep. This could be who this is, you know? Um, but I feel like whatever it is, it's not activated yet. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Ace of Cups, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? So yeah, I feel like you're receiving clarity about that, okay? So you're realizing that some kind of new beginning is not available to you yet, okay? It is available, but you just don't have any room for it. Tell me about the Justice card for Aquarius, please. The world, fixed energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. So once again, there's like this energy of stagnancy where you're kind of dancing in the doorway here. Um... 
So yeah, there's something you're trying to close out, but you want to hold on to something else. At this, you want to hold on to it at the same time in case this new beginning doesn't work out. So um, that's that's a weird energy. So we're going to look at what's going on currently. You have the Two of Pentacles, Jupiter, and Capricorn. You have the Page of Cups, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and you have the Ten of Wands, Saturn, and Sagittarius. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles here for Aquarius. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles, please, for Aquarius. What's going on here with that? The Hermit, Virgo, okay. Sorry, you guys, if you can't see the cards when I pull them out. Like, it's just like, I show them and they're too bright, or I move them in a different direction, they're they're not bright enough. What's going on with the Page of Cups, please? For Aquarius and the current energy. Yeah, it seems like you guys are still in this space here. Uh, where you don't understand why this new thing isn't starting, why it's not getting off the ground, or why nothing's coming in. Um, and I feel like it's just because you've left the cycle open here. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. What is that? Two of Wands. Okay, so literally, I mean, you have the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. You got the Two of Cups on the bottom here. Like, if this doesn't scream indecision, and then you have the Queen of Swords again. So, yeah, there's something here that you um, are trying to put behind you, but you don't really put it behind you when you leave it open, do you? Okay, so the Two of Pentacles, I feel like you're kind of stuck at a crossroads here because you're like, wow, this new beginning's not really giving back to me. So, I guess I was right in holding on to this old thing. This, this could have been a Virgo for some of you. Um... But yeah, I feel like there's some disappointment and some kind of uh, new beginning. And then you have the Page of Cups. So this new beginning is about to slip away. This opportunity is about to slip away. That's what this cup jumping out, uh, or this fish jumping out of the cup is representing here on the Page of Cups. Clarifying it is the Death card, Scorpionic Energy. It's because you haven't ended something. So that's something they want you to know here, okay? Um, you've kept something open. So that's why this isn't working, okay? You have the Ten of Wands here. Clarifying the Ten of Wands is the Two of Wands, okay? So yeah, the balls in your court here is what they want you to know. The Two of Wands is Mars and Aries. So this is a young emperor in this card. Golden Dawn designers uh, call this card Lord of Dominion, okay? Because he's in his power here naturally, okay? The ball's in his court, but twos do represent decisions, right? Um, so you can't fully move forward without leaving this wand behind here, okay? And you're carrying it, so that's a big issue. So showing up. In your future energy, you have the Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo. You have the full Aquarian energy, and then you have the Five of Pentacles, Mercury and Taurus. I want to clarify your overall with this Ace of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Swords, please. Tell me about the Ace of Swords is the overall energy for Aquarius. We're getting the Seven of Cups. Okay, so, you know, there's a straight line, and you're wondering why. And I think this reading is just getting very repetitive, but for the most part, with the Seven of Cups, Venus and Scorpio, by the way, this represents having options, having a clean slate, right? Uh, but when you don't choose, this warns against analysis paralysis pretty much. All those options can disappear, even whatever this is that you've left open that you're trying to hold on to, it can disappear, okay? Because you're not choosing something, all right? So basically what I'm feeling here is you've left something open because just in case I want to go back to it. But you know, the reason that you went for something new is because it was not satisfying you. So why on earth would you hold on to that and want to go back to it? You know, it doesn't make much sense here, does it? Let's go ahead and clarify the six of wands for Aquarius, please. So that's what I mean by straddling the fence, okay? You're not choosing anything and every opportunity is just going to slip away because of that. So about the six of wands? Eight of pentacles, sun and Virgo energy. Tell me about the full card. The moon, Pisces energy, and the five of pentacles. What's that? The king of cups, scorpionic energy. Yeah, so basically, the four of cups being on the bottom here, moon and cancer energy, it is a card of, you know, being unsatisfied with something, all right? So I feel like as you return to the root of this, some of you may even end up returning to this past situation here. You'll want to realize why you weren't satisfied with it, why you left it for something new in the first place, and why you shouldn't have left it open uh, to begin with here, okay? Um, for others of you, there is going to be victory and success as you fully commit to this new path, this new beginning, this new person, whatever this is here, okay? Some of you, this is a job, you know? Maybe you want to leave a job and you're like well 
um, maybe it'll still be here for me. Maybe I can keep it open, you know, uh, in case I ever want to come back to it. But it's the fact that it didn't fulfill you that you wanted to move forward to begin with, okay? Um, so Six of Wands, there's victory, recognition, success in this new beginning here, as long as you commit to it in full and you don't try to leave something open, okay? Because that's not fair to the new beginning. That's not fair to yourself, okay? Clarifying the full card, you have the moon, okay? So this is something coming into your awareness, right? Because the moon represents like your subconscious, okay? The full, all this yellow here represents enlightenment. Meant, okay you have that zero here which represents a fresh start a clean a clean slate right starting all over taking a leap of faith on something new okay so yeah i feel like you're leaving something behind here with this five of pentacles mercury and taurus this is not you being left out in the cold or anything of that nature this is you leaving something else behind king of cups because you've come into awareness about what it is that you need what what it is that you want and need truly okay so we have scorpionic energy here with that but that's what this breakthrough is about you're cutting through the confusion this week here at aquarius so i like this a lot at least I hope this is the case for most of you who watch this. Um, I like this a lot for you. I hope it was helpful. I want to thank you so much for watching and supporting me. And you all enjoy your week. Bye.